What's up guys? I'm back and this is going to be my August favorites. Um, I'm not going to do each month because August is my favorite, you know, um, month of course because my birthday is in August. And also I did tell you in my last video when I was doing um, Anne Marie that I bought another wig and this is the other wig that I bought. Her name is Vanessa. And she is an invisible part by Free Tress, and it's on the equal line. Now, this one is pretty different because it doesn't come with the bag. It comes with the box. So if you have an extra bag, you know, you may want to put it in there or just put it with your shoes. I think it kind of takes up a lot of room, so I'm kind of happy that every lace and every half wig I get is not in a box. But um, I'm okay with it. Um... You know, I just wish it had a little bit more volume in the front. I love the curls in the back. I do. This is what I do love. I love this part right here, this feather look. And it is invisible part. You don't see the lace, which is really, really nice. Right here is the part. Now, I saw a, another young lady on, young lady, like I'm old. I saw another girl on here, and what she did was pretty much she did this hairstyle now for people that's going to get this wig not a, a middle part um, wig it's a side part wig so the only way that you want to do the um, the middle part you just simply shift the wig the part to the front now the only thing I have about that one is that it's just going to be really uncomfortable with the air tabs um, because the lace is all the way over. So pretty much that's an easy solution. All you have to do is just tug your wig to the middle for the part, and you have a part in the middle, okay? Um, I'm still looking for a replacement for Victoria and 7045. I'm still on a hunt for it. I feel like if this hair had the same fiber as Friday Night Hair Wig, um, I think this hair will be hit right out of the part but right now it's a little bit thin in the front um it's not really doing what i want it to do as far as come over like a leah swoop in the front it's more like a curve up like a a fancy l but um it's still really cute it's very believable that it, it does in real life in front um it does look as if it's a sewing so I can say that it's not too thick it's a very nice lightweight wig but I mean okay so let's get into my August favorite Doo -doo -doo -doo. my first one is yes to carrots pampering conditioner I absolutely love this I saw this on YouTube and um, this is actually the new formula because I know a lot of naturals are not using this anymore because it put in some type of sodium something in there and they don't like that but hey it makes my hair feel as if it still has the conditioner in it it still makes it feel healthy it still makes it feel really moist after I do my co-washing um, so let's move on to the skin after I use any type of cleanser on my face and I see that I have a little bit of a breakout I use this right here this is the clean and clear um, advantage acne spot treatment Okay, it comes in a nice little tube, very cute. You know, I put this in every um, purse that I have just for the simple fact. Like, you know when we get that feeling, you know when you're about to get a pimple because it starts itching and you're like, damn, a pimple's coming. So easily you just open this and squeeze it out and spot treatment. And literally um, it says 90 100% showed clearer skin in one day. And I have, ever since that one time, I remember I was going to my husband's family house and I started breaking out right here. I went to the store, I got me some Oxy pads, washed it off, and then put this on. Literally, by the time I got to the Bronx, it was fading away. So every, I, I became a believer as far as, I became a believer that first day, and this was about two or three years ago. So I still use this perfect also now that you know that I'm getting a little bit into just natural looking makeup let me fix my wig um, natural looking wig um, natural looking makeup and like I mentioned this is my favorite thing this is the only thing that I use 
on my face right now. I haven't had a breakout um, at all, nor have I seen any like improvement of my skin. Like I said, I, I have little to really nice skin. It's just that it's dry. Um, so I use this before I go anywhere. Actually, I put this on my face right before um, before I leave. I probably put it on like 10 minutes before I leave. I start down here at the chin area because I have thicker skin down here. So if you start down here first and it blends in faster and quicker. Now on my lips, I am obsessed with the Revlon and this is by, this is the Revlon Color Burst. Okay, and this color is rose gold. Now this rose gold is like a really nice peach gold color. And it goes with anything. It can go with a liner or it can go simply by itself. And this is pretty much my on-the-go look. Another thing that I started using on my face is this light, nice little sponge. Okay, this is a makeup sponge. I got this from eBay for 99 cents. It came, um, I mean, I wasn't paying $20, $30 for the ones that's that you see online, but I did get this from eBay because you guys know. I feel like when I put my other favorite, which is the Love Thing Blush, it's a very nice rosy maroon color as its own, it's a mineralized blush. I feel that it melts better onto my skin when I use this little sponge so simply I just dab it in bam 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 and I just simply just dab it onto my skin and literally it's just like using a paintbrush it blends so nicely you know um, I noticed that putting on blush on my face is better with my finger or with this because it's more soft um, texture like if it actually feels like your finger, your fingertips. So it actually melts. I don't know the whole, you know, science term of it, but I'm just telling you that my blush goes on better when I use this. Better than the brush. Because on a brush, it feels like it just sits on my skin and it looks powdery. But when I use the, my finger or I use the sponge, it actually goes on a little bit more creamier. It looks more as if it was like a cream blush. I hate when I see people with so much makeup and it looks so powdery. It, it just irks me. Okay, so usually I know on my first video I told you that um, Benefits Cosmetics has this um, this bad gal. And I'm obsessed. I was obsessed with that mascara. I Anytime I, I needed a new one, that was the only one that I got. Now... I'm in love with another product by them, and this is called Their Real. And this is also by um, Benefits Cosmetics. Now, it pretty much, the, the name itself already explains what it does. What it does is it makes it look like as if you really do have, you know, fake eyelashes on. But... It's not too glamorous to the point where it looks natural, but it still brightens up your eyes. And that's what I love about this product. You usually, I haven't double dumped this the first time that I got this. Um, I've only used it once like this. And that was it. I didn't have to keep dumping it and putting more, dumping it and keep putting more. Literally one swipe is enough to coat your eyes more than once. I coat my eyes, I counted five times on each side, and it was it was fine. It thickened, it wasn't clumpy, it um, curled up my lashes really nicely. Oh, my favorite wig for August is Estelle from Outre. That is my favorite wig. I wear it every time I go out because I get compliments on it all the time and I just can't help but to wear it along with the face products that I showed you um, but I think that's it I really don't have that many right now those are pretty much my favorites that I use all the time I'm obsessed with these products um, I think I'm gonna continue being obsessed with these things until they run out <laughs> but um but that's all that's my August favorites Bring the beat I in. shall see you guys soon alright I'll see you guys